just excited um, for the week ahead. Um, obviously, um, two good wins last week, but if that still looks big to us, um, we haven't done anything. Um, we have to uh, learn how to go about this in a consistent way, and this is another opportunity for us to back up a, a really good week with another really good week. So um, LSU presents an awful lot of challenges um, from their experience to their uh, their chemistry. Um, again, you know, they have um, a lot of returnees that are fifth year players and you can definitely tell that the experiences they've had, they're certainly wanting to make the most of this year. And um, Kim is doing a great job. They're feeding off her energy, um, playing with a lot of swag and confidence. And, um, you know, it'll be a great challenge for us in front of a hostile environment on their senior day. Go ahead, Ashley. You know, I think just um, her patience um, and letting the game come to her, um, her ability to read and react um, and counter how they're guarding her. Um, but again, you know, I've been as pleased with what she's done on the, on the glass with her rebounding and defensively as much as I have offensively. I know that's hard to believe, but um, she's just playing both sides of the ball um, and, and doing a really good job for us in so many areas. Ashley, do you have another one? Yeah. Um, LSU likes to attack the paint a lot. It doesn't take a lot of threes. How does that kind of change if you just find it really change at all? Well, it, it doesn't change it because we always want to keep the ball in front of us. But if it's um, if there's ever been a time where we have to contain um, drop eyes and dribble penetration, um, it's really going to be important. And the most important factor to go along with that is, you know, keeping them off the free throw line. Um, you know, when you look at Pointer and, you know, how many free throws, I think she shot 168 on the year. That's amazing. So um, we're going to have to do a really good job of keeping the ball in front of us. And then, you know, when you can contain dribble penetration, you prevent um, having to help and then help the helper. And then you're giving up backside offensive boards, which, um, Newbie and Afua Gusters are so good at, at getting. So it's, again, it's another SEC team that, you know, it's getting to the rim and it's offensive putbacks. So we've got to limit easy baskets to be successful. Coach, this is Nicholas from WBUA. Hey, Nicholas. Coach, in uh, both LSU's last two home games, we've set season high attendance numbers, including the sold out crowd versus Florida. How do you prepare your team for that kind of environment? Well, that's exciting, you know, and I think that's something that's really special um, to see happening at LSU right now and the way their fan base has gotten behind Kim and her new staff and the success their team is having. Um, but I'll be honest, you know, I thought A&M had a really great crowd on Sunday. So we can certainly draw from that experience. Um, I think the biggest key to that always is um, that's a typical night in and night out crowd a lot of times, you know, at South Carolina and at a and um, and the experiences we've had thus far in those environments, uh, Tennessee will have to draw from. But it all starts with communication um, and practice this week and, and how we handle that. And we'll probably play a little crowd noise this week. We know it's, it's getting close to Mardi Gras. Those folks will be fired up down there. Timothy on Zoom. Um, hey, Coach. Um, knowing how good this conference is, how big was it for Brittany Davis to win the SEC Player of the Week? Well, it was big just because she's earned it. You know, and you certainly don't want a player not to receive individual awards because, I, you know, the only thing that could go, who, you know, who could have impacted their team? Um, but, you know, we probably had a couple of award winners. I mean, Megan had an incredible week as well, and, and we had so many players step up last week. But, um, you know, it's never about that with Brittany. Um, it's more about her team success, and that's what makes her so special and so much fun to coach. Any other questions? All right. Thank you all for coming out. Roll Tide.